this is a simple wireless fm audio transmitter and today i'm going to show you how to use it as well as do a very simple review now here are the physical attributes of this device at the top we have a single on off button this is a switch on the right side we have a micro usb port at the bottom we have a single 3.5 millimeter audio jack and at the front we have these two buttons for changing the frequency as well as a backlit lcd panel so how do you use this device first of all you need an actual fm radio and that's why I have this Sony radio over here. If you are a fan of my channel, you actually remember this radio. I actually tried some modifications on this radio in another video that I will post in the video description below. I actually failed in that endeavor and that's why I bought this gadget over here. So this is how you use it. You actually insert this end into your smartphone or your laptop or maybe your mp3 player. In my case, I have my phone over here. I'm just going to insert it over here. The next thing you are going to actually switch on your FM radio and then tune to a frequency that does not have any channel on it. In my case, I have chosen 88.0 MHz. So I'm also just going to take my gadget over here and select 88 MHz. I'm using this frequency because in my country, we don't have any channel on this frequency and this reduces the chance of disruptions and interference with other FM channels. So, the next thing is just playing some music. So I actually bought this device from AliExpress at a price of around 384 Kenya shillings. This is around three and a half US dollars and it took around a month to ship to my country. It didn't come with anything in the packaging. This is the only packaging that came with the gadget. The only thing inside was a micro USB cable over here for charging. I actually tested this cable. It's actually a bad cable. It doesn't work. So I have my own cable over here. To charge it, you just insert it into the micro USB port over here, like so. So I bet you remember my Infinix television over here. Now to use this device, you actually need your imagination. I'm just going to plug it in into the back of my Infinix TV, like that. Now this is the FM application on my phone and I'm just going to play through the speaker over here. And what you can hear over here is what is coming from the TV through the wireless FM module at the back. So if you want to listen to your TV in privacy, you can actually use this method provided the 3.5 millimeter audio port on your TV is accessible. From the AliExpress page that I bought this from, I'm actually going to link it in the video description below. You can see that it has a frequency range of 87.5 to 108 MHz and it has an effective range of 5 meters. So 5 meters from your actual radio receiver, this thing will work perfectly. Now this thing also has a simple memory. If I switch it off and on back again, it will actually tune to the previously tuned frequency. In my case, I'm using 88 megahertz. Now, what I also noticed about this device is that it works very well with phones that have the audio jack at the top over here, like that. But nowadays, most phones come with the audio jack at the bottom. Now, in my other phone over here, you can see that the audio jack is actually at the bottom over here. Now, if, I, if you plug it in into a phone that has the audio jack at the bottom over here, you can see that it interferes with how the phone sits in your hand but if I actually twist it like that I can actually use my phone pretty decently over here without it interfering with anything. Now here is my advice for using this product. Make sure that the volume of your input device is set to a mid to low range. You don't need to crank it up all the way over here. Now if you play any music from your phone or your mp3 player or your laptop the only thing you need to do is actually increase the volume in your FM receiver. And this will, this will give you a very good balance with no distortion. 
Now if you crank it up on your phone you start hearing some distortion from your speakers. It takes around 3 to 4 hours to drain the battery in this device fully and I don't know the battery capacity of this device. The page where I bought it from does not have the battery capacity but I can guess around maybe 500 mAh. Now to charge this device you can actually charge it fully in about 10 to 20 minutes. So that's it guys, my name is Dominic. Thank you for watching and goodbye.